Hello everybody and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, episode 8. Today we're just going to play as Isaac. Let me check the video real quick. Looks good. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't uh, not recording. Because that mistake has cost me a couple hours now. And I want to avoid it in the future. Getting key right off the bat, that's pretty nice. Uh, no special floor here. Not Crystal Labyrinth, Crystal Lost. Or Curse of Darkness, so that's nice. Tender Rock here. Of course, Isaac starts with the bomb, so we can get into that right away. And Small Rock to start us off. Very nice. Small Rock it gives a uh, damage up, tears up, and a small speed down. Overall, pretty good item. Nothing to complain about that. Could technically, could technically re-roll it, but um, I don't really see the point. It's quite a good item on its own. Mom's Bottle of Pills gives us one pill every six rooms, I believe. Go ahead and pull one out, but then we're going to re-roll it. Okay, Mom's Knife. Um, Mom's Knife does that. Shoots out a knife, does lots of damage, scales. Uh, grit, it gets damage increase from range ups, so be on the lookout for range ups a little bit more than we usually are. Also probably going to want to get a little bit of a speed up. Not too much, but getting one speed up to make up for the small rock would be nice. So, Mom's Knife, pretty amazing base. Um, it does a ton of damage. It's a bit risky to use. A little riskier than normal tiers, I would say. Just because you have to get a little bit closer. But you can see the damage from one poorly placed swing doing there. And Pride needs to stop summoning so many bombs. Whoa! Okay, so yeah, two swings to kill him. Drop Anarchist Cookbook. I'm gonna try and reroll that. It looks like we do have Curse of Lost, by the way. And I got 10 bombs. You know, I'm just gonna take that because I can't imagine we're gonna get another reroll. And 10 bombs is great. It means I'm definitely gonna look for the secret room. Judgment, we'd love to play, and we, uh, we absolutely have Curse of Lost. There's no way we don't. So apparently, I was wrong earlier. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to tell we have Curse of Lost than the other ones. But, uh, no. No first floor is this big without Crystal Lost. It simply doesn't happen. Alright, so we found the secret room right away. Got uh, Bob's Rotten Head, which is a throwable bomb type item. Not bad. I'd love to reroll it, but we're not gonna get that chance, unfortunately. And I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's a good replacement to their D6. I actually think it's a surprisingly decent item, but I don't think it can justify replacing the D6, so. Widow, Pink Widow, going to jump a lot, but as you can see, one knife swing brought him down to about 5%, so, yeah. Shot speed up, um, I have no idea if that will do anything at all, I usually kind of avoid him. Shot speed up, I, I really can't tell if it actually does anything at all with the knife, so, I guess we'll take it. I mean, I already took it, so, let's go into this cursed room, a little bit of a risky decision, but... Kind of paid out with Guppy's Tail here. Guppy's Tail gives us a substantially increased chance to find chests. Red chests, golden chests, uh, and just normal chests in place of normal uh, drops like keys, coins, etc. Wow, a lot of money there. So shop is definitely potential here. We do have Curse of Darkness, by the way. So we need to get two more cents and a key, ideally. And then the shop is going to definitely be on our list can't really complain about this run. Uh, one thing I will say is we kind of want to get some keys going on because that will make Guppy's Tail much more useful overall. And I'm probably going to blow the center open here if something drops. Red Heart, you know we have a lot of bombs so I'm going to blow it open anyways. Good chance I'll make a profit. Not really. Umbilical Cord, Umbilical cord is a pretty bad item. What it does is if you get down to half a Red Heart it summons Little Steven for one room and that is not persistent at all. So if you have have a heart and you enter the next room, you're not gonna get little Steven again. You have to reach have a heart basically. It doesn't continue to persist as long as you stay there. So it has no real use in my opinion. It's quite bad. Arguably one of the worst trinkets in the game. So remote detonator here because it's five bombs which is the main reason I'm going to pick it up, then I'm going to reroll it. Charm of the Vampire. Gives us half of a red heart every 13 kills. 
um, you know, it's passive, I guess, so somewhat interesting, but also not that great. Probably would like to re-roll it, to be honest. I'm not sure if we're going to get that chance, so I'm going to try and grab this key without opening that golden chest. Main thing I want to try and do here is find the secret room. I believe it could be right here. I might be having my uh, my internal compass off. Uh, it definitely could have been there, but I actually should have known it wasn't because the, the curse room would have revealed it. And that was a good spot. Unfortunately, it's an arcade, so I'm going to try and blow up to get some consumables because I have a ton of bombs. All right, we're definitely going to go to the shop. And hopefully we get something good there. It does not look like we're going to get any more rerolls. Well, we can buy Steam Sale, and it's still early enough in the game that I would say Steam Sale is pretty well worth it. It will very likely pay for itself if we get enough money to go to shops in the future. Steam Sale just basically cuts the price of everything in the shop in half. It's always on sale instead of having a random chance to be on sale. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and it's, it's it's substantially better the earlier you get it. If you can get it in one of these very early shops, it can be quite beneficial to you. Um, but if you get it really late in the game, it's just kind of a disappointing sign. Oftentimes, so we're not going to get another reroll, unfortunately. But sometimes it's just how it goes. So it looks like we're going to two-shot famine, or we would have if I had lined that up a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Cue me here. Fills up one of our three orbital slots, and orbitals block incoming damage and do contact damage into the double room. We have the option to pick up Brimstone or the Pact. Um, I've heard that Brimstone does interesting things with Mom's Knife, but I don't know if that is true. Um, and I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. So, the Pact or Brimstone. I really don't know if Brimstone does anything with Mom's Knife. I'm pretty sure Mom's Knife has a higher priority. Main reason we take the Pact is to get two Soul Hearts. That doesn't really appeal to me. So, I'm just gonna move along, I think. Yeah. Alright. Can't complain about how that went. Definitely want to go to the shop. Need to get two more cents, though. Okay. Need to be kind of careful here. Taking one point of damage is a little silly. Taking even more would be ridiculous. So we're definitely going to go to this item room. Found it at the perfect time. So we can efficiently use our D6. And we're definitely going to get the chance to do so. Because we definitely don't want to take telepathy for dummies. Telepathy for, telepathy for dummies gives you homing tears for one room. And has a charge time of two rooms. It's not super great. We roll that odd mushroom. Damage up and health up. Pretty awesome. So this run... Uh, I think of all the runs I actually have on camera it has really shown some good stuff that can happen with a uh, lucky rerolls. Got an odd mushroom and mom's knife out of rerolls which is pretty cool. Alright, I took more damage on this room than I would have liked which is any damage at all but we do get our health back. Also, I should have picked up Charm of the Vampire. Uh, I don't think it's on the special items table. So, not picking it up. Uh, kind of a waste. Probably not the end of the world because it's really not a very efficient item in terms of restoring your health. But at the same time, it's something. Okay, got a key at the perfect time so I can go to the shop and potentially get some rerolls going on. Would love to see the habit. Some interesting things we could pull off then. But, you know, a variety of things would be welcome. Treasure map. Um, Compass. Yep, treasure map. As I said, would love to buy the soul heart in the key. And we'll probably be able to do that thanks to the treasure map. So, treasure map reveals the entire map without telling you specifically where things are, and it also tells you where the secret is. So, it's pretty handy. We can uh, make exploration a little bit easier, can show you where dead ends are specifically, so you can know if you're heading in a correct direction or not much faster. And we got enough money to buy the soul heart and the key, so that is what we're going to do momentarily. So like, because of the treasure map, we know that room at the top there is a dead end, so we don't need to go to it. Because there's no need. Judgment, very tempting. 
Okay, gotta be kind of careful in this room, but it should be fairly easy. If I just take it kind of slow, get my sh uh, knife charged up a little bit. All right. So, boss room should be right here. It is. That was not some kind of, you know, amazing prophecy. It was literally the only place it could be at that point. So. All right. Just gonna get to this room easily. It's not a hard room. Okay. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get any more money. I'm gonna go ahead and fight the boss. It's gonna be Fistula, which, as you can see, the knife makes pretty quick work of. Now, as I said, the knife can be a little bit risky because you do need to get closer to enemies, which is sort of inherently riskier. I need to let this charge a little bit longer. There is a charge time associated with Mom's knife. It's not really related to how much damage it will end up doing, but it is related to how far it will go. So, And I believe it is impacted by your tier rate, so getting a bit of tier rate up would be good. As we're getting some range, because range, as I said, uh, doesn't actually increase the range Mom's knife goes, but it does increase the damage. Health up? Very welcome. I'm not going to pass up a health upgrade at this stage. We don't have a ton of health or anything. And golden chest. So, unfortunately, we're encountering encountering a problem I've been having quite a bit lately, if you saw the last video. And that is, the game gives me Copy's Tale very early. Uh, I pick it up, and then we don't get any keys. So, uh, you know, it's a personal mistake, I suppose. At the same time, it's a little unfortunate. It's tempting to open that golden chest, though. A bit risky, I suppose. Also tempting to take this pill, but it's a little bit. If you're not, if you only have one pill, like the best course of action, if you only have one pill and you don't have a PhD or the luck foot, the best course of action is to save it until you get down to like one health or so, so it won't damage you. All right, key and a bomb. Well worth the challenge room at this stage. Uh, definitely need the key bomb. Not so much, but you know, excess bombs is not a bad problem to have. These guys should be fairly easy. Yep, one good knife swing. As you can see, the knife uh, makes pretty quick work of everything. It is riskier, but uh, pretty well worth it. There's a lot more damage than brimstone, for example, but uh, again, it is riskier, so. It is a very strong risk reward type item. Has pretty demand. Oh, that probably wasn't worth it. The Devil Card. I guess I'll take this pill. Range down. Well, that sucks. Oh well. At least we know. So I'm gonna head up here first. Another beggar. I'm gonna go to the secret room. Hope for some money. Okay. Now I think on this floor it's perhaps more worth it to play Judgment instead of go to the shop because there's a 50% chance that the shop will have greed on this floor. This is the first floor where he can appear. Okay, I'm doing some weird matrix shit here. I think Cuba Meat here is partially to thank for that somewhat incredible dodging. Can't take all the credit. Uh, more bombs, back to full health, and those two are dead rooms. And what I want to do with the D6 is I want to save those uh, dead ends so I can potentially get more charges. So I've basically got two charges sitting right there. Could be less if they're they're literally empty, or if they just have like fires or poop in them. But there's a very strong chance that they have encounters in them. So, bomb and a soul heart. Can't complain about that. Very good trade. All right, this room should not be a problem. Just gotta time my knife a better. One thing I will mention about the knife that I don't believe I did which should be fairly apparent if you're watching the video, is that the knife actually does contact damage. You don't have to you don't have to throw it to do damage, though it does do more damage if you throw it. But against things that only have a very minor amount of health, it's really not a big deal. It's very tempting to go to the shop right now because we do have a D6 charge available. Um, and we did just get another key, so I'm definitely gonna go. It may be greed. It's not, it's the habit. Okay. Okay. This run is... it's getting interesting. I'm gonna buy the habit. Tempting to buy the soul heart, gonna hold off 
for now. Just because uh, I kind of want to play Judgment on the off chance that he gives me something nice like a compass or even just a health up. I would love a health up from Judgment. I'm very, very happy with this run so far. I have no complaints. I feel like we're doing quite well. I feel like I say this a lot, but we could use a, a survivability booster, just something like, you know, minor relic. Uh, Mom's Pearl, actually. Speaking of survivability boosters, Mom's Pearl will give us an extra 10% chance to get soul hearts. Pretty much doubles your base chance to get soul hearts in place of normal red hearts. So that's pretty awesome. Very welcomed addition. Much, much better than the umbilical cord. Gonna go to the cursed room. Ah, uh, could be good. We'll see. Luck up, sure. Happy to take the luck up. And tears down, okay. Well, not really worth it, but... I uh, can't really say I'm happy with our pill rotation. I guess that's one complaint. Luck up's not bad, but it's... not really great either, unless you're doing a tough love build. Having one luck up is actually pretty good because it'll increase your chance of getting consumable drops, but after that it doesn't really help, so I'm definitely going to trade a bomb for key. Book of Sin here summons a random consumable. Uh, I don't know what the exact charge time is off the top of my head. We are going to pick it up and use it once. One thing I want to take a second to mention here is that the game has given us a surprisingly large uh, number of books, so we, uh, we would be able to utilize libraries quite quickly. Okay, very tempting to take this bomb bag. Just, just take it right now, but I'm gonna hold off on that for just a second. I want to try and get two rooms worth of charges, so four charges on my D6. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. So, okay, we're gonna go try and earn some rolls, uh, some delicious buttery rolls. No. Uh, some d6 rolls, in fact. And we may play that kid there on the hopes that he will give us a compass. Oh, no. Well, it looks like our dream of rolls may be... may not come to be. Unfortunately. Oh, oh forgot I had the habit. Hmm. There is potential for abuse there, but I don't really have a way to regenerate health, so it loses a bit of appeal. Though I should head right to the boss room. For sure. I'll play this little guy. Hopefully he pays out. 11 cents. A little bit iffy, but it may happen. Two bombs. Sure. Four cents for two bombs. It's a good trade. Please don't do me dirty. Soul hard. Okay. So far it's worked out pretty well. Ah uh, yeah. Okay. That worked out perfectly. It took exactly 11 cents. Got a soul heart, two bombs, and a health up. Pretty happy with that. Pretty great trade in my book. So we're gonna go do that boss. Uh, let me remind myself what's in here. Yes, bag of bombs. Very tempted to take that. It's not too bad of an item at all. Gertie, you know, shouldn't be a big deal. Just gotta be kind of aware of things. You can take out most of the things he summons very easily. So I just gotta try and time my shots in there. Okay. Well, if I just take one point of damage against Gertie, I'm, I'm okay with that. Gertie can be a little bit challenging at times. Health up and a deal with an angel. I guess we did not take a deal with the devil earlier, so. Scapular, pretty solid item. No doubt about that. Actually, extremely tempting to take, but we roll it into the Bible. Damn. Um, Scapular is a nice item, but I don't think not taking it is the end of the world. So, we take Bag of Bombs here, and I'm gonna go to this challenge room. Nope. I only have one key, so I don't really see that being worth it. So, just for reference, Scapular would have given me a soul heart whenever I got down to half a red heart. It has some interesting ways you can abuse it, basically. Notably with blood donation machines. Also, okay, being kind of silly here. Well, did get a charge, but that's not necessarily useful. Um, yes, Scapular 
some potential for abuse there, which is always entertaining, I would say. And uh, the Bible gives you, speaking of button on age machines, the Bible gives you flight every six rooms and also instantly kills mom and mom's heart. And that sounds useful, but it's not super good because mom and mom's heart usually aren't that big of a deal. Usually the least of your concerns, and if you're having difficulty killing them, um, it's kind of unlikely you're going to make it a whole lot. I'm taking a ridiculous amount of damage on this room for no real reason. It is a little bit tricky because I have to stay at kind of a interesting range, but still. Spider bite. Um, I could reroll it and try to get something better going on. I don't. I mean, what what would be better? I could take a fetus item, sure, but I already have mom's knife, so. That seems a little silly. 1-Up would actually be a welcome addition to this point. Raw liver, of course, would be very good. There's also quite a bit of bad stuff we could roll into, though. So, just being able to keep guys slowed... I mean... Let's let's take it. Spider Bite. This is a slowing effect. Pretty sure it works on the knife. It may not. I guess we'll find out. If nothing else, this is a, uh, a science experiment. So we're going to go this way. No particular reason why. Again, going to try to leave those dead ends open. And it definitely does slow them, which I'm very happy to see. I mentioned this earlier, but I would still welcome a uh, health upgrade. Or not a health upgrade. Well, yes, a health upgrade. But I would also welcome a... I'm going to try to do this. So we have a lot of bombs. I would welcome speed up. One speed up would be nice. Lucky toe? Um, it's okay, but it's not awesome. It's not better than Mom's Pearl. Pretty much... All that really needs to be said about it. What it actually does, um, I, th I think it's basically just a luck up. So, uh, let's attempting to go to the cursor. I'm gonna wait to go to the cursor though because it will give me another charge when I go in there, so I can use it more efficiently by waiting. And that's you know that's nice. I'm taking quite a bit of damage on this floor, which sucks. I don't have any money, or I would go to the shop. There's really no point right now. Especially since Greed is probably in there, because he's not in the secret room, and he wasn't on the last floor, so I'm pretty sure he's pretty much guaranteed to be in there. This room scares me a tiny bit. Looks like we're going to get through it alright, though. Well, we have one cent now, but that's, uh, that's super helpful. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Now I have enough money to go to the shop, but as I said, Extremely likely greed is in there, unless there's another mini boss in this floor, which is possible. We really don't know yet. If I get another key, I'll definitely go there to check it out. But the game will need to give me that key. Here is the item room. Gotta not move so much. Gotta move at weird times. Okay, might as well just go with it then. Yep, took a lot of damage on that room. Uh, yeah, that's a space bar item, Mr. Boom. Just does that basically. We'll Reroll it. X-ray vision, pretty helpful. Let's us see through. Um. Well, let's us see through lots of stuff basically. Let's us see through secret rooms, find them for free basically. So it's a pretty good item. Also, lots of bombs on this room. So this run is going pretty well, but I'm getting pretty scared about it because we are rapidly draining health much faster than we are accumulating it partially just because we've gotten some rooms that are not exactly what I would call easy with mom's knife you know not really hard either but not super easy okay that scares me so we're gonna do the boss I, I really have to say I have to emphasize here that I'm pretty nervous yep okay I'm gonna use the devil card so fallen it scares me even more but I'm almost through just gotta survive! Oh Jesus. We could definitely die here. It's a serious possibility. I need them to stop shooting at me. Okay, okay, one down. Let me kill this one. Please. Oh, so close. Slow is useful. Ah, oh, yes, we made it. Oh jeez, they gave me the razor blade. That's not helpful. I'm gonna reroll the shit out of that. Get the nail. Um, yeah, we're taking this. <clears throat> Nail gives me a spirit heart every six rooms. Pretty awesome, since I already have the habit. So basically, it means I cannot die 
right now. Uh, well, I could, but it, it's much harder for me to die. Which is cool. Very helpful, as you can imagine. So I'm going to pop it right now. And then I'm going to go in here. Dead cat. I would take it if it didn't drop us down to one heart, but it does do that, so it's a lot less interesting. So, nail. What the nail does is it gives us a spirit heart. I believe it increases our speed, but it may be a decrease eternal heart. Definitely going to take that. I can't go in there, I forgot. It, it may be a speed increase for the room it's active, and it's also a damage increase, so it's all around pretty great item. It may be a speed down. Um, I, I think it's a speed up, but you know. Also, I should play Blood Donation Machine until it breaks because there's actually no reason not to because it can't kill me. As you can see here. And it's actually quite beneficial because it will give me a nice little stable of spirit hearts here. Okay, and then it gave me the blood bag, which gave me a ton of health and a speed up. So I'm pretty happy with that. It looks like the nail is a speed down, by the way. That's what it feels like, anyways. But I could, it could just be a bit of confirmation bias. I don't know. Okay, I gotta be kind of cautious on this room. I'm much, much, much happier with our chances now that we have the nail. Uh, would love to see another recharge style item pop up. And so it looks like greed is almost certainly in that shop. So yeah, I'd love to see another recharge uh, type item pop up because that would just substantially increase our chances. I mean, their, their chances increased a lot just by getting this. But if we got the 9 volt with the battery, it would go up even more. So, Soul Heart and a Bomb, probably worth uh, the effort we're going to put in here since, you know, they're, they're not going to really be able to do damage to us anyways. And the reason I say they can't do damage to us is because every time we get hit, we get three charges of the item back thanks to the habit, and it restores a soul heart to us every time we get six charges. So as long as mobs are just doing half a soul heart, we are effectively invincible. So that's pretty cool. There are some stuff that can do a full heart before you make it to the uh, the womb, like gurgles, but uh, it's not not too much stuff. Not so much stuff that you have to worry about it. Knights can be a little bit weird to kill with a knife. You kind of have to swing the knife very center on them. It's hard to explain, uh, and it's even harder to explain because I don't think it can really be noticed visually. You just kind of have to see it. <laughs> so, the main thing, th there is one thing I could do right here, and one thing that's actually probably not a terrible idea, is I could go to the s cursed room with my d6 and re-roll that item in there. Um, I'll lose a couple soul hearts, but at the same time, it's probably worth it. Um, it's a bit of backtracking, but you know. If it gives me something good, it's more than worth it. If it gave me like Gubby's Paw or something, uh, it would be very challenging to lose. Give me the prayer card, okay. Prayer card is an internal heart every six rooms, which is pretty cool. Not sure if I actually like it quite as much as the nail. I would say I don't because it's somewhat less efficient overall, but it does give us a health up, so you know. What is? Let's see if we can get another charge. Oh shit. The relic. Okay. The relic is a soul hide every four rooms, which is awesome. And I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry about that. So, uh, did I take the item out of there? That is a good question. I did. But what was it? Oh god. Oh, it's the relic. Yeah, relic. So relic is just a soul heart every four rooms, which is totally awesome. It's a little bit more survivability. Um, so. Pretty much the habit slash nail combination is going to allow us to be very defensive, and the relic is going to allow us to rack up some soul hearts. 
So it's a, it's a nice combination that I like to see. I would love to find a. Uh, I would love to find a arcade on this floor because we definitely qualify. It is an even numbered floor, and we have a we had five cents when we entered, so definite potential there. I'm gonna save this nail charge until I get to the next room so we can use that damage bonus. Probably don't really need it, but you know, might as well be maximum efficient here. I need to be kind of careful here. Gotta get a nice charge going on. You can definitely get pretty good range of the knife, you just gotta be sort of patient. And we don't really have good tier rate right now, so it takes some serious patience. <laughs> so let's go up here. Again, important to note that we will no longer have the ability to reroll. And also that there's no reason not to go into this curse room. Even though it's a mega troll bomb. Or a super troll bomb if you prefer. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize for that. Ah, in this room, we find some of this. Easy enough. And here we go. Easy enough room. I could try to bomb to get a bomb. It's not a terrible trade, I guess. It's actually about as fair as you could get. But uh, not super interested in it. Should be able to land that. Okay. Shop appeals to me. This appeals to me. Let's go to the shop. I don't think it will be greed. Alright. Um, portable slot machine. A real good item. I, I know that sounds kind of weird. But you can reroll bosses with it. But the problem with that is we are on Necropolis Part 2, so we're going to have to find Mom, and Mom does not have any open doors when you come in, and I can't re-roll. I can't, can't stress that enough, because I keep forgetting it myself, and I should have hit that nail charge when I first came in here. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but it would have been a really smart thing to do. Also, I hope we don't keep getting this room, because it kind of takes a little while. Not a huge amount of time by any means, but uh, I guess we'll go down here. Not really a dead end per se. But not necessarily a room I want to go into. Alright, this situation scares me a little. Managed to handle that though, so I guess I will save the dead ends for now. I really need to get some keys. Um Alright, just gotta land a good shot in there. Missed. There we go. Should really only take one good shot, and then okay, maybe two if I mess it up a little. Okay, just use my contact damage there. Boss room. Again, not super interested right now because oh, I should have stood right there. Go ahead and use that nail though. Okay. Taking a lot of damage on this room, but again, the nail and the relic combination is making that somewhat less substantial. Uh, definitely want to find the item room. Definitely want to find a key. And I do want to play the fortune teller. But I want to wait and see if we get a, a uh, arcade first, which is still a definite possibility. Alright, got two girls out. Ah, that was close. This room? This room is potentially dangerous because we will take a full soul heart, so we're not effectively invincible. It's more like we have the wafer on this type of room. We're taking half damage, essentially. So we did find an arcade, which I'm super happy to see. Gotta be careful here. Okay. Now into this room. Okay, fortune teller. Sure. Counterfeit penny. Uh, I'm gonna take this for now. Counterfeit penny gives you a 50% chance every time you pick up a source of money to get an additional penny. It doesn't spawn one or anything, just kind of puts one out there. Okay, IV bag. Uh, I can't really abuse this in any kind of substantial way right now, so... Because it wouldn't give me charges on my uh, nail, so I'm going to play these for a little while. As I don't want the shop item and don't really need the money. Loves keys though. If 
judgment one, or not judgment, but if the skull game wants to hook me up with some keys. Bombs, bombs are awesome, but you know, I think we probably have too many mobs. Missing page, it's a trinket, gives us a 5% chance to use the Necronomicon effect every time we get hit. Uh, or the death card effect, if you prefer, they're literally the same, all three of them. Um, I guess I could be carrying the counterfeit penny here. To make things a little bit more efficient, but you know, goat hoof because it's a speed up. It's super interesting. Prefer mom's pearl. Okay, soul heart, super weapon. Again, key. That's all I really want. Okay, a lot of soul hearts. It's very welcomed. Key, thank you. Please deliver. Yeah, two keys. So I can even open a golden chest because there aren't going to be any more item rooms or shops. There may be libraries, but uh, overall we can start collecting keys to spend on chests now, which is awesome. Because chests can have some pretty good stuff in them. Just kind of rare. Alright. So I'm just going to spend most of my money here. I'm fairly happy with how it's gone so far. One thing we have to be worried about is the tick. Use Birdfoot gives us a 1 in 20 chance every time we kill something to summon a dead bird. Functions very similarly to the normal dead bird, as far as I know. It's a pretty bad trinket. I used to think it was a 1 in 20 chance every time you did damage, but uh, it's not. So, Skatol would be very welcome, so would more keys. So, I'm pretty happy with the payout we've gotten so far. Gonna be, able to, gonna be able to open all the golden chests, gonna be able to go to the item room. Um, yeah, wow, more keys. Okay, thank you. I really see no reason to stop yet. I'm just gonna go until I'm out of money, pretty much. Argument to be made to go to the fortune teller, but eh, you know. The other fortune teller in the top secret room, that is, to clarify. These keys are awesome because we are gonna get quite a few golden chests, I would imagine. I mean, obviously, we've already gotten quite a few Skatol, though. I mean, if they just wanna end it right now and give me Skatol, very happy to take it. Very happy with how that all went down, to be honest. Only thing I would have asked for is to get uh, Blood Bag instead of what we did get. So, Odd Mushroom should give us a bunch of tier rate, lower our damage a bit. Maybe a speed up, I don't know. Mostly just wanted it for the tier up. As you can see, I can shoot much, f I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, I guess, but I can shoot much, much further. A lot quicker now because that's what tears up does for you if you have mom's knife so could go to that fortune teller machine make use of these last seven cents and I mean I guess I will there's a slim chance it would give me like a crystal ball or something which may not be very useful but I would take more soul hearts or a card or just seven fortunes I guess Fortune tellers are not super efficient unless you have the lucky foot. You have a 65% chance to get a fortune, which is pretty worthless. Um, so that sucks. There's a uh, compelling argument to be made here. Yeah, this is interesting. We have the full card. Definitely want to keep this. So I'm happy we went to do that. I will explain why, or at least show why, why I think this is a good thing. So. There's definitely a compelling argument to be made to get down to half a heart and just kind of try to ride on soul hearts, but I feel like we have so many red hearts that I'm not sure if it really is worth it. We have so many bombs that I see no reason not to get this. Yep, yeah, well worth it. My opinion. So, another golden chest in here as well, so definitely going to crack that open. And Kane's Eye. Kane's Eye gives you a 25% chance every time you go down a floor to get the map and compass effect. I apologize if there was a loud noise for a second there. I had to move my mic some. So we're gonna fight mom. Not expecting it to be hugely difficult, we're just fighting normal mom. She's not blue. Da ba dee da ba die. So her foot does do a whole heart of damage, so we're not invincible against that. So we're somewhat cautious. Alright, got through it, got Jesus juice. Jesus juice is pretty good. Uh, I don't know exactly what it does off the top of my head, sadly. But it, it, it's pretty good. So it's like damage in range or something. Which is basically just two sources of damage. Your mom's knife, I suppose. So, 
there's a case to be made, like I said, to get down to have a heart, but we're not going to do that. So I use the full card to get out of mom's room, and what I'm going to do now is go back there and see if there's a deal a deal room. Could be a deal with the angel or a deal with the devil. I haven't taken any deals with the devil, so pretty strong chance for it to be a deal with the angel, if it exists at all. Fairly low. Yeah, it didn't happen. It does happen from time to time. Uh, we are at the point of the game where we want to have half of a heart instead of absolutely full health. Because, well, it's just, it's kind of more efficient because you get at least one tick of full rate of that way. If you have absolutely full health, uh, then you're essentially in the same basic position as if you had half a heart less, but you won't get full rate of And that's pretty bad. Unicorn Horn uh, is actually real good with Mom's Knife. Like, it's, it's really good. Um, I, I'm not going to make that decision just yet because. We're getting pretty late into the game, so the nail ne isn't necessarily going to give us a huge amount of charges. Uh, what the Unicorn Horn does is gives you 7 seconds of invincibility and gives you contact damage. You can't fire normal tiers, but I think you can still fire Mom's Knife. Why is this thing not dying? Yeah, so Unicorn Horn is pretty... I mean, usually it's not that great of a space for item in my opinion, but... Taming's Head does this. Yeah, so usually it's not that great of a space item in my opinion, but in this case, it's actually pretty solid. Problem is, we still do have a way to go. Not a huge way to go, but we do have some levels left. Um, and losing out on the nail may be undesirable. So I'm just going to look for the boss room. It's right here. Alright, just got to weave through that. What the nail is effectively doing for me right now is cutting all the damage I take in half, which is fantastic. But the uh, the unicorn horn may effectively do the same thing, if not better, because I'll just get instead of taking half as much damage, I'll just get a long invincibility every time I take two hits of damage. So and contact damage. So like I said, it's interesting decision. Uh, we'll go to the deal with the devil. Lord of the Pit for two hearts that would give me flying and a bit of move speed. The mark I don't think is good, but flying is interesting. We have a lot of health, so you know, might as well. Unfortunately, that does stick us back at full health, and we might as well take Badger Boy. Not much reason not to. So we are in an interesting place right now. Very tempting to take the Unicorn Horn. Um, I, I feel very good about the nail, but at the same time, Unicorn Horn is pretty awesome, especially now that we have flying. It's, it's a really tough decision. Ah, oh, fuck it. You know what? Let's let's take the Unicorn Horn. Um, we have a source of Soul Hearts. Not a not a not one that's going to necessarily supplement us entirely, but we do have a source. We do have flying now, and the Unicorn Horn we're going to be able to use very, very regularly, so, what's up in here, spiders, cool, alright, now, where's the boss, and I'll like, it. I guess we'll try down into the left, because they all seem to be about the same distance to me, a pill, I mean, I guess it's probably good, because we've gotten a ton of bad pills, I realize that's not exactly how pills work, but, I want to believe, but I'm not going to open it yet, because it could be a bad trip or something, and I might as well save it, range up, very cool. So ideal situation here is I don't spend any more keys because four keys is exactly how many you need on the chest to get all four of those opening items. Uh, so ideal to have at least four keys. So excess keys that I get now will go towards the... Hold on just a sec. Excess keys will now go towards the gold chest I find elsewhere. Possibly libraries as well. Another benefit to flying is of course we can avoid creep and fly over rocks. I think flying was well worth two hearts at this point because for one, I mean, we have a, we have, we have a silly amount of health, really. For two, it, it's going to let us avoid so much damage that it may just work out to be worth more than one heart. Sorry, i got to kind of pay attention here. It's a little bit scary. The, um, the leeches are one of my least favorite enemies to have to fight with the knife, especially the explosive ones. Uh, okay. Well, that wasn't worth it, but you know. And, you know, we might as well go fight the boss. Like, no reason not to. So what I want to do 
get in here, take on these eyes. And then what I want to do is pop the unicorn horn. Just kind of go crazy right here. Yeah. So, if I get hit twice more, I'll be able to use another charge of the unicorn horn. Get some more good damage going on. Uh, hopefully we don't get hit twice more, but if we do, we're going to be able to do a nasty amount of damage. As you can see, Mom's Knife and Spider Bite. Credit where credit is due here. Spider Bite has turned out to be a pretty great pickup. Keeps a nice, good slow on Mom. And she's in the Mom phase, but not really getting to use those bombs too effectively. Uh, so up to the Cathedral we go. I'm feeling very good about this run. Should have picked up those consumables, I guess, but it's not a huge deal. Again, all of these seem to be about the same length to me, so... Uh, okay, that's weird. Grab this Tinted Rock. I like this room. If every room is this room, I'll be happy. Oh, Fortune Teller, hello. Potential to get some Soul Hearts here. Also potential for the Tick, which would suck a lot right now. Crystal Ball would be pretty cool. Hanged Man. Whatever. Gives us flying for a room. Which is okay sometimes, but in this situation, it's pretty bad. Now, we could have used the fact that we have X-ray Vision and Liberty Cap here, and I'm going to show you how. Hopefully, I'll show you how. Let me see if I can get it to work. I don't know if it will. It may not. It may have to go into a new room to get it to proc. Maybe. I'm not sure. Well, I don't really want to wander around with it, so... The trick I was trying to pull off there is that Liberty Cap gives you a random mushroom effect for a room, but it can also give you the compass for whatever reason. Um, and I'm not sure if I was just getting unlucky there, or if you have to go into a new combat room to get it to change, or what. So, and I don't want to waste all day on it, even though it's probably within my best interest to do so. And I may actually carry it around because the Polaroid is doing nothing for me right now. I need to, I need to keep it so I can get to the chest. But I do have X-ray vision. I have a shit ton of bombs too, so that's not really a huge point, I guess. Two soul hearts in a row. That's awesome. It's effectively another unicorn, which you know, weird way to measure things, but useful as well. Isaac's head is shooty familiar. Again, only real concern here is that we get the tick. Gotta be careful of that because that could ruin a pretty amazing run. Another Polaroid. Um, trinkets don't typically have multiple copies. The exception here is the Polaroid because the Polaroid has a guaranteed source off of mom and can also spawn on its own. So, two Polaroids in there. We are going to go back to get it, don't worry. Let me go in here see if anything's going on. Six cents, sure. You can use X-ray vision to effectively and essentially freely skip a couple rooms. Okay, Daddy Longlegs is going to be a fucking dick. But as you can see, mom's knife doing a pretty, pretty solid amount of damage. Range ups have done some good here. I believe these usually go to four. And then he should pop down somewhere. There we go. And now he's gone. Okay. Again, trying to get that compass effect to show up. I mean, it doesn't matter because we just found the boss room. I was hoping the boss room was over here. I would say it had pretty much an equal chance to spawn in any of these locations because, well, they were all pretty much the same different distance. And I just got pretty lucky finding it right here. So I'm feeling pretty strong about this. We are going to have a unicorn horn to open the fight with, and I'm just going to run in there, blow it right away so we don't waste any potential charges. Nice pickups. I'm going to go pick up the Polaroid. Don't want to forget that. I wish we were at... Um, I wish we were at six and a half hearts instead of seven, but it's not the end of the world, so... Alright, let me check my recording because, okay, looks like we're good. Had to make sure I'm still recording. Um, Isaac, here we go. Unicorn horn. Could have popped it at a better time, I think, but not a big deal. So, got a huge chunk of damage out there. You can definitely see the value in the unicorn horn with Mom's Knife. Did about a third of his health. And if I get another charge going on, I don't want to do that deliberately. I want to keep going as long as I can without popping it. But if I can get another charge up, we will almost certainly be able to kill him. I'm just going to try and swing as many times as I can. Don't want to do huge swings because that's sort of inefficient. And bam! Okay, 
Got hit twice, pretty sure, throughout that entire fight. Which is amazing. Into the chest we go. Can open three of these. Poop, pretty bad. Shoot, whoop, pretty bad. Holy water, pretty bad. Okay. Game is mad at me for dropping that D6. Apparently, I guess we could pick up the holy water. It's actually so bad that I kind of don't want to. Again, I feel like these are all having pretty equal probability, so I might as well go to the most convenient one. Even though it's oftentimes not the most convenient one, just because the game is a little bit of a dick. And I have the poop, which is real bad. Need to trade that out as soon as possible. It's the poop is like super bad. And the unicorn horn is pretty amazing in this situation. It's not a terrible thing on its own. And Abel, I guess we'll take him. I do not like Abel at all. But, you know, no reason not to take him either. Alrighty. So, spider room. Well, it takes some damage on what is probably the easiest room in the chest. Not a huge deal, though. Still have hearts off the screen, apparently. So, boss is not over here. I'm gonna head to the secret room one first because that could save us a little bit of time if it ends up being over there. Yeah, I should clarify, I mean, I'm gonna head to the one near the secret room first. Okay, this room scares me a little bit, though it really shouldn't because it's not that hard of a room. Well, might as well end it now. Okay. Forever alone? You know, a little bit more damage. Probably not gonna be that useful because we're gonna be so close that we're probably not really gonna be able to use it. We got death here. Apparently, I'm gonna kill pestilence first. That's just the kind of guy I am. And I'm gonna take a little bit of damage. Still, though, apparently, have hearts off the screen, so. And the Isaac fight is any indication we're only going to need like 3 health. Not that I want to have 3 health, but I feel like we are in a very good position. Definitely don't regret the choice of the Unicorn Horn. Pretty sure we would have been able to get through it with the Nail, but I honestly think the Unicorn Horn is a lot of fun to have with the knife. Like, just genuinely a fun time. Whereas the Nail is a little bit generic, perhaps. Sort of the logical choice, maybe. But, um, you know, this kind of, having Mom's Knife is one of the few situations where I would definitely advocate for taking the, uh, My Little Unicorn. So, you know, might as well. Uh, he's almost dead. There you go. Uh, some secret room here. This will just play this a couple times. Could use a new trinket. Polaroid doesn't really do anything for us now. Unfortunately. Okay. It's enough fortunes game. I've seen a lot of fortunes this game. Okay, here we go. So my logic, by the way, is that if the boss room is right down here, and I guess we can kill Super Greed, but I don't really want to. If the boss room is right here, which it is, we got to skip two rooms by going to Super Greed. Excuse me. Not sure if that was audible, but you know. Uh, let's go murder Blue Baby. Wow, this has been a good run. Again, you know, don't want to count my chickens before we hatch, but I would be extremely surprised and extremely disappointed if we managed to lose this, so. I mean, just look at that sick damage. I could just really tank this, and I honestly might as well. I have a lot of health, still have health off the screen, for God's sake. Um, and yeah, that is that. Just gotta kill these babies, and we are done. And that is a weird sentence. Kinda creepy, even within the context. But, thank you everyone for watching. I'm glad we managed to get another chest win. Uh, kind of a overpowered run, I guess, but it was still fun. I had fun. Um, and peace. Oh, yeah, I should go through here first. So, next run. May just do another Isaac run. I enjoy Isaac runs, as it is known, I suppose. Uh, but I may do another Kane or Judas run. Uh, I would like to do a blue baby run on camera at some point, but I'm not sure if I want to do it just yet. Blue baby runs uh, are oftentimes a lot of fun, but also oftentimes not that successful for me, anyways. There's there's a lot of neat little things about blue baby that I en genuinely enjoy, but uh, at the same time, certainly not the certainly not a super easy character. And that is it. Figured I'd just uh, let that vignette play. Goodbye, everybody, and thanks for watching.